I'm willing to bet you have at least one of those postural patterns and maybe some of you will have all of them. And it's likely from this. If that's true, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you a quick, perfect posture routine that you can do in six to eight minutes a day. And I'm willing to bet if you take a side picture of yourself right now, and then another one in 14 days from now, you're gonna be well on your way to achieving perfect posture. If you're not aware, your posture will become in disrepair. This will create a situation where your posture will crumble. It'll affect your spine, it'll cause premature wearing down, and I can guarantee that you will not feel, heal, or function well. In this video, I challenge you to follow along with me for a 14-day posture reset. I'm sure if you follow along, you are gonna notice a significant improvement in your posture, and that will translate into you feeling, functioning, and healing better. This quick, perfect posture routine is super easy to do. You're only gonna need a towel and some floor space, and we're gonna go through this together. You've probably noticed I'm pretty casual right now in terms of what I'm wearing. I did this purposely. I have a pair of jeans on and a t-shirt, Let's remove all the excuses. There is no excuse as to why someone cannot spend eight minutes a day for the next 14 days transforming their posture. You don't have to have any special clothes on or gym clothes. You can do it in the comfort of your home and it's gonna get you out of your seat from in front of your computer or TV. It's gonna break that postural habit so you can get the best results in the shortest amount of time. This perfect posture routine will attack three areas, the hip, pelvis, low back, the mid back, and the neck. When you put it all together, I believe it's one of the most comprehensive, simple, posture routines there is on YouTube. So follow along and let's get to it. So we're gonna start with our pelvis and hip and low back first. I want you to get down here and do this with me. Don't worry about the reps and sets right now. I'm gonna put a summary later on in the video so you can download that super easy. I want you to feel what I feel, so follow along with me. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out our psoas muscles. And the reason we do this, we sit so long. We're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. The key here is activating your glute. It shouldn't be soft. You should really squeeze your glute and then drive your hip and pelvis forward. You should really feel that at the front while you're firing your glute. We're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. Really keep your upright posture in good shape. You want to be hunched forward, shoulders back, head up. Really fire that glute. And then we're gonna relax. Again, hold that for 15 seconds. The other side, fire the glute as hard as you can drive the hip forward. You might even feel that down in the front of your thigh on the leg that's being stretched. I can certainly do that right now as I fire my glute and drive my pelvis hip forward, really holding that for about 15 seconds. You'll feel that, I'm sure of it, if you sit a lot during your day. This is gonna be followed by our glute activation to really help with our pelvis and our lumbar posture. We're gonna simply get on our back, these are called glute bridges. You've probably seen them done or done them yourself. The key here is driving your heels into the floor, really activating your glutes until you get to a straight line. You don't want to hyperextend. You want to hold this for two to three seconds and then come down. We're going to do this for 10 repetitions. And if you find this is too easy for you because you have strong glutes or you do these often, you can make it a little more difficult by doing one leg at a time. So you wanna bring your feet a little bit closer together, drive your heel, straighten one leg, and really come up. Again, don't hyperextend, just activate the back of your glute. You might feel in the back of your hamstring a little bit again, and you're just gonna really focus two second hold at the top. I'll do this side for demonstration. One. Really firing the glute. So the theme of these first two movements is glute activation. Again, I'll do a couple here. Really squeeze those glutes together and hold at the top. And one more. Okay, we've addressed the hip, pelvis, and low back area. Now we're gonna move on to the thoracic spine. One of the best thoracic spine extensor exercises to really help with that hunched forward posture is a modified McKenzie. So for this exercise, we're gonna get on our tummies, we're gonna push up on our elbows with our head slightly extended, we're gonna take our elbows off the floor, you do need a mat or a yoga mat for this, we're gonna externally rotate our shoulders to help with the internal rotation of the shoulders, and we're gonna really hold this position. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together, your head is extended, 
you're firing all the posterior chain muscles. You probably will get a little stretch in the front abs as well. We're gonna hold this for 15 to 30 seconds, and then we're gonna relax. And then come back down. Just do a little gentle stretch, elongate your spine, and come back up again. If you have a difficult time on your elbows, you can certainly get up on your hands. The same thing applies. You wanna twist out your hands to lock out your shoulders in external rotation and really squeeze your shoulder blades together and hold this again for 15 to 30 seconds. I can really feel the muscles between my shoulder blades, my lower traps, my rhomboids, all my extensors firing, and my posterior shoulders which make this really effective in helping that rolled in shoulder posture. As well, we're getting some thoracic extension and as well as some lumbar extension. And come down. You should really be warm in your glute area, your hip, and now your thoracic spine. Now moving on to the second thoracic exercise. This is a chest opener. So this can be done a variety of ways. I'm gonna demonstrate it on my knees right now. You wanna make sure that you feel that your rib cage is opening, you're activating the muscles at the back of your spine and really undoing this posture. So you can stay on your knees for this one. And there's a few different ways. I'm gonna first show you with a grasp here. We're gonna grasp our hands and we're gonna really squeeze our shoulder blades together with while grasping our hands and not letting go. And then we're gonna just slightly extend our head. You're gonna hold this again for 15 to 30 seconds. If you're not feeling it, you can bring your arms behind your back and really extend down like a tricep extension while you're squeezing, but don't let go of your clasped hands. Again, open up your rib cage, pull your shoulders back, activate those muscles, and give yourself a slight head extension. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Some of you will be more flexible and you can get all the way down on the floor. You really need to feel which one works best for you. For me, I really like the hands clasped at the front. I really want to externally rotate, activate my muscles, open up my rib cage, and really squeeze. Holding for 15 to 30 seconds. and come down. We've worked through two areas, the hip, pelvis, lumbar spine, the thoracic spine. Now we're on to the cervical spine. So far, if you like this video, show some support by giving me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you love videos like this, this channel's for you. Maybe you'll consider subscribing so you can be informed when I upload a new video. Let's get on to the final section, our cervical spine. Okay, one of my favorite movements that can be done independently, but I love it part of this perfect posture program because it ties everything together. This is called a reverse standing wall plank. You're definitely gonna need a towel or something to lean your head against. Find any wall, hold the towel up, step away from the wall, and basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna fire your glutes, you're gonna fire your mid back, holding your shoulders back, and you're gonna fire the muscles deep in the neck. So we're gonna pull up, almost like you're chucking your chin, squeeze out, and really fire your glutes from the bottom and hold this position. Make sure you're not really hyperextended. You want to kind of stay as straight as possible. And this is a movement you can hold for 30 seconds up to a minute. In fact, if you really like it, you can hold it for two minutes. This will make the routine between six and eight minutes, depending on how long you hold this movement and the final one I'm going to show you very soon. If it's difficult, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and then release and you can do it in reps rather than hold it. But remember, postural exercises are meant to be endurance exercises. We need the muscles to adapt so they hold our posture throughout the day. You should feel that from here all the way to here. The final exercise is next. It's gonna relax everything, but it's super important. So let's get to it now. Even though it's last, it's probably one of the most important. This is gonna address the thoracic and the cervical spine. 
ligamentous system. We need to stretch ligaments and open up discs in order to have effective postural change. So for this one, it's a passive movement. We're gonna take a small towel. You can fold it or you can roll it. I'm gonna roll this because I like it a little bit more aggressive. And all we're gonna do is we're simply gonna lie on it at the base of our neck or our upper thoracic spine. And so we're gonna place it. The easiest way to, is to get down, put it kind of just above or between your shoulder blades, and then open your arms, rest your legs, and just enjoy the passive stretch. You can lie here for as little as 30 seconds, but up to five minutes. If you choose the five minutes, this will certainly make the perfect posture routine a bit longer, but you might just find that it's worth it. I hope you're doing this with me so you can feel what I'm feeling. It's opening up my rib cage. It's relaxing. It's a good cool down movement to this routine as well. Before you go, if you haven't taken a selfie from the side, please do and then do it again in 14 days. Put in the comments and tell me how you feel and how you look after 14 days of doing this perfect posture routine. It's going to take you six to eight minutes a day. I want to thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to see you on my next video. Until then, stay well.